Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how the hospital portal works on eDocuter platform. So I'm going to simply um, log in, but basically to register as an hospital on eDocuter platform, you just need to click on over by register and come to hospital and post in the details. But since I already have an account created for Spitu, so I'll just click on login. And I could click login here or click login here. Then I'm going to put in the account details. Uh, so I'm going to copy the email I used to create an Spitu and put in my password. Now, basically, the hospital sees um, on the hospital portal you can um, edit your profile as the hospital. You can put the image of the hospital, the logo of the hospital here if you feel like changing it. And you can also um, add your update your profile and you can um, change your password. Now, basically, the um, eDocuter um, platform allows patients on eDocuter platform to book for an appointment with hospitals that have signed up with eDocuter. So basically what happens is when a patient on his own portal needs to visit um, your hospital, they are going to pick the hospital they want to visit and the time they will be coming. So on the hospital portal, you will have seen the... On, uh, when you click on manage appointment, you will see the list of patients that are coming for an appointment and the date. So let's, for instance, this is a patient called um, Blessing Eduwale. Um, so you're just going to simply click on that patient. Let us assume the patient has come for the appointment and the doctor have attended to the patient. So you just click on fulfilled. And now, then the status changed to fulfilled. So it's, um, let me also do that. It's, it's just a simple process. So that's what the hospitals are able to do on the platform just click fulfilled so and if the appointment was cancelled the hospital will also click on cancel if the appointment was cancelled so that's pretty simple for hospital portal on a docketer platform thank you